my name so far i have more than 3000 students majority of the students are working as a clinical SaaS programmers and leads also uh, i have 17 years of experience altogether and i have my own company or organization called clinical in stream clinical research private limited i'll give you the website name also and uh, uh, where we do support some domestic and international uh, the pharmaceutical and uh, the biotech and medical colleges uh, you know uh, support in terms of uh, the biostatistics, including end-to-end uh, -end process. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to give you some uh, um, introduction about the STTM, so which is part of CDISC. As you know, the CDISC is nothing but Clinical Data Interchange Standard Consortium, and it is an organization which was recognized by United States Food and Drug Administration. Okay, so the clinical data interchange standard consortium, they have some standards which are enabled to uh, speed up the drug development process. So here, uh, there are some some standards we have to follow uh, to generate the STTM domains. Okay, from STTM, for STTM, STTM is nothing but study data tabulation model. Study data tabulation model is one of the, the standard one of the standard of CDISC, and we required the implementation guide uh, to implement the, the domains. The current version is 3.3, STTM 3.3 version, and uh, the previously we have 3.2 version. So now I'm going to show you the 3.2 version, which is uh, nothing but STTM 3.2 version. Uh, so this is the STTM, study data tabulation model, implementation which is human clinical trials so what we have to do is we have to uh, understand each and every standard from the CDISC according to that we have to convert it to standardized data so in the clinical trial the data we're getting so which is non cd standard what we have to do we have to convert it to cd standards as i explained to you uh, so we have a, a based on the the data from you know the screening to end of the clinical trial so you'll get an enormous data this data should be standardized as for cdisc complaints as for the cdisc complaints so what we have is sttm the whole sttm is mainly categorized into some categories first one is special purpose category domains and interventions general observation class events general observation class and findings observation class and trial design models and some special category purposes, okay, findings about trial rec, all these domains we have. So now what we do is today, uh, you know, so we'll explain to you about special purpose category from that uh, we have a demographic domain. Okay, so we'll uh, work on the demographic domain. So the demographic, so we have special purpose category, we have demographics, comments, and then the subject elements and subject visits as for the 3.2 guidelines 3.2 guidelines so what we have is so sttm ig implementation guide we are working to 3.2 guidelines so uh, the demographics and comments and subject elements and subject visits are the comes under special purpose category domains okay so the demographic is first actually today uh, we will just uh, give the introduction about the demographic domain, how do we actually implement and how do we actually create the DM. So we'll go through that one, okay? Uh, all right, so the DM is nothing but demographics. As you know, every domain have one structure. The demographic structure is one record per subject. One record per subject, okay? So in general, demographic is nothing but, okay, the patient demographic information, which includes the date of birth, age, gender information, country information, okay, uh, gender, race, country, and then date of birth, some ethnic ethnicity, okay, all this information, normally demographic in general. But this STTM domain, so we have to implement uh, the demographic domain 
for in order to implement this DM domain, we need to also capture some other information also. Apart from this information, we also capture inform consent when the subjects sign the inform consent. Okay. And then when the subject, you know, participation and participation, that means study when the subject completed the study, study completed. And then when the treatment is started, when the treatment is ended, okay? When the treatment is started, and then when the sub subject is ended the treatment, and is there any death information, okay? Death information, okay? Uh, death information. And then, so apart from that, what are the treatments are allocated? The treatments are allocated. That means what are the planned treatments are allocated? What are the, the actual treatments are allocated on the treatments and actual treatments are allocated okay apart from that uh, we can also capture the what is the what is the uh, the demographic data of collection when the subject the demographic data is collected demographic data is collected this type of information will be captured. Basically, the demographic is the domain, which is a very important domain in STTM. So demographic means in general, demographics means like, you know, gender, race, country, date of birth, and then age and ethnic information will be normally captured. So apart from that, so we'll also capture this type of the, uh, this information also in the demographics. So whenever we are implementing the domain, so you, know, you should have a complete the specification uh, from the STTM. Okay, so uh, we have every, every variable name, every variable label, type, control terminology, role, core, origin, how we derive algorithms will be used. So for example, if you see the demographic domains, all the following variables will be captured. I'm writing, you know, not exactly the order, but I'm writing all the variables, what are the variables will be explained, study ID, domain, U subject ID, USUBJ ID, SUBJ ID, okay, and uh, RFSTDTC, RFENDTC, RFXSTDTC, RFXENDTC, and then we have RFICDTC, and then RFPENDTC, RFPENDTC, and apart from that, we have sex. Okay, site ID, and then we have the arm CD, arm act arm CD, and then DTH DTC and DTH FL, and we have some of the variables like you know the BRTH DTC, and then age age units, and we have a country, for example, race, country and then ethnic and then we have demographic data of collection and we have like investigators like investigator inv id and inv inv norm and then dm dtc and dm dy all these variables comes under demographic domain so we can easily find out we can easily populate every each and every variable okay Okay, so all these variables we can find out just um, so we can work on all the variables. Okay, um, so every way, every study have you know protocol name or protocol number, which is called nothing but study ID. Just want to like you know just check um, all the variables one more time. So study ID domain U subject ID subject ID RF STDTC RF RF STDTC RF ENDTC RF X STDTC X ENDTC and uh, reference inform concern and end participation sex site id arm cd arm act arm cd and uh, and uh, the the date of then we have like act arm just just want to make sure act arm and then dth dtc and dth fl both dtc age age units all these variables comes under the demographic domain so we can explain to you in detail for every each and every you know the variable in terms of the task and in terms of the real work 
the task here is say for example if you see my previous so basically uh, whatever the you know we are actually giving you explaining to you everything is task oriented and once we completed the task uh, for every variable we'll be working on the real data so normally we have a data so which is related to some of the study related uh, real data we have real time related data so where we'll be working on all the implementation so this is the data we have so how do we implement we can work on it okay so this is what we call uh, the demographic variables and uh, we will uh, um, you know so if you if you if you need more information or if you want to if you want to actually uh, go through all the variables then we can also find out my uh, coming upcoming videos also and uh, if you need any kind of the training related to cdisk implementation sttm and uh, adams tlgs uh, so you can contact us and please subscribe my videos thank you